Hey guys, going on here? So take a look at this chart here. So this is four different groups and look at the change in lean mass from the low cholesterol group, so the group that ate the lowest amount of cholesterol, all the way to the group that ate the highest amount of cholesterol and look at the difference in the change in lean mass after a resistance training protocol. Look how much more muscle they built. Stop being afraid of dietary cholesterol, guys. A lot of you guys are so desperate to get shredded that you're cutting your fat intake so low that even your cholesterol intake is suffering. Dietary cholesterol, that is. But anyway, this is another episode of Science Sunday. So let's take a look at this study. All right, so four groups of old people, and they each took four different doses of cholesterol prior to the training program, right? So one group took 100 milligrams per day, roughly 100, it's about 100 to 150. Uh, second group, around 200 on the low end, 300 on the third group, and about 400 uh, plus or minus on the high end. And the goal of the study was to obviously see if dietary cholesterol was going to have any impact on the amount of muscle they put on. Keep in mind, this is a study on older individuals. And the reason why I like these studies is because it is very, very hard to for old people to put on muscle, right? You guys know they have antibiotic resistance. So anything that works on old people and helps them increase uh, muscle mass from training tends to carry to young individuals as well. In fact, there are other studies on young people showing similar things as far as protein synthesis. But anyway, so let's look at the results. Look at the change in lean mass, right? The low end group. As you could clearly see, it's a dose response relationship, just like volume, right? Just like volume in training. The group taking the high end put on way more muscle than group three, group two, and group one. And it's not even close. As you increase your dietary cholesterol intake, you increase your increase in muscle mass from training. This is not new. This is not something that we recently discovered. We've always known that saturated fat and cholesterol has some antibiotic properties. But lately, everyone has been so anti-cholesterol, mainly because they don't understand how it really affects the body. And if you look at the change in muscle size, same thing, right? So obviously you have the change in lean mass and you also have the change in muscle between the very, the lowest end group and the highest uh, cholesterol group. So in case you were thinking, well, maybe the change in lean mass is just from all the weight. Nope, it was muscle. And keep in mind, everything else was equated. They had similar calories, similar protein intake, uh, which was not optimal, by the way, but everything was accounted for. So same calorie, same protein intake, same everything. The only thing that changed was the cholesterol intake. And you can look here, the change in strength, right? So not only they put on more muscle, they also put on more strength, right? Double the increase in strength. The low end group increased their strength by about 40%, whereas the high cholesterol group increased their strength by about 80% substantial difference and surprisingly for those of you guys who are wondering well what about their uh their blood lipids what about the ldl look the ldl was the same so even a group that ate a high amount of dietary cholesterol look before after right that's the high cholesterol group in blue and if you look at the low cholesterol group before after same thing right no significant changes and again we've always known this dietary cholesterol does not impact your ldl or your hdl Unless you have a bunch of other issues, you know, unless you're like a hyper responder or, you know, already have other metabolic disorders. But yet everyone is terrified of egg yolks. Everyone is terrified of butter and, and fat. Now, keep in mind, don't go overboard, right? You don't want to overdo it, but mainly because you don't want to fuck up your macros. You don't want to eat too much fat because then you're not going to have enough calories left over uh, to go into protein and carbs and things like that. But you should not eat those extremely low fat diets especially the ones that don't have enough cholesterol. If you look at the HDL, the good cholesterol, same thing, look, unchanged, before, after, before, after. And this is not new. This has been replicated over and over again. Eating dietary cholesterol does not affect your blood lipids if you're healthy, if you exercise, right? Remember, there's a reason why your body makes over 1,000 milligrams of cholesterol a day. Your body needs cholesterol for your brain, for your cell membrane, for hormones, fat digestion, so many things. So even if your dietary cholesterol is low, there's a reason why your body tries to make up for that by producing more cholesterol. And when your dietary cholesterol is high, your body actually produces less uh, cholesterol to keep the balance. So stop stressing over cholesterol. This is not the 1950s. Now, why is cholesterol so anabolic? Well, obviously we know, number one, you need cholesterol to make testosterone. It's funny how everyone forgets that testosterone, the most anabolic hormone in the fucking human body, is made from cholesterol, right? Without cholesterol, your body cannot make testosterone, which obviously ties into estrogen. Without cholesterol, there's no estrogen. 
So all the positive, forget the negative ones, all the positive effects of estrogen are gone without testosterone and without cholesterol. Vitamin D, right? One of the most important hormones in the human body. Got citrol. Your body cannot make that without cholesterol. And even ecdysterone, which obviously obviously your body doesn't make ecdysterone, but even ecdysterone, one of the most anabolic compounds out there, is made from cholesterol. Do you finally get the hint? Right? Even plants and insects need cholesterol to make that anabolic hormone. Right? And that's not mentioning the fact that your brain is cholesterol, your cell membranes need cholesterol. A lot of the pathways involved in protein synthesis, including mTOR, is affected by cholesterol. Fat digestion and absorption from bile, the body needs cholesterol for that. And obviously, that's going to affect your absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. So, long story short, guys, stop being afraid of dietary cholesterol. Now, if you have some issues, because, I, again, I recommend everyone to do blood work. If you have issues with your lipids, your LDL is too high, your HDL is too low, then, again, consult your physician, try to figure out what the issue is. I can, but I can guarantee you that it's not because of your dietary cholesterol uh, being too high. In fact, I don't think most people eat enough. As long as you're healthy, as long as you exercise, as long as you do regular blood work, don't be afraid to get some saturated fats and some cholesterol in your diet here and there. Now, again, obviously don't overdo it, but you get the point. Now, as far as how much recommend per day, keep in mind those amounts are way too low. Remember, these were old people. So they were given the cholesterol based on their lean body mass. You obviously have a lot more lean body mass than the average old person. So uh, your requirement is obviously going to be higher than this, right? My rule of thumb is always 5 milligrams of cholesterol per day for every pound of lean body mass, right? So if you have 100 pounds of lean body mass, again, I'm just throwing a number out there for to make the math easier. If you have 100 pounds of lean body mass, multiply that by 5, then that's 500 milligrams of uh, cholesterol per day. So find out your lean body mass in pounds and multiply that by five. That's a good rule of thumb. All right, I hope this video helps and I hope to fuck that the sound is not messed up this time. I don't know what happened yesterday. All right, see you in the comment section, guys. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.